Hello guys, today I want to show you an example of a Laravel service covered by tests as the best way to document that service. And this comes from a package, but this video is not about that package, but the package is called Laravel Lang Country by my friend Steph, who I met multiple times at Laracons, and he released the package for languages, countries, and date formats and everything, and you can check that out. But what I'm wanting to show you is services. So this comes from the package, but you can also use that logic in your Laravel project. So services, and there's a service called preferred language, which under the hood sets a lot of things. So preferred language, fallback, country, locale, there are regular expressions here, collection, magic, sorting with PHP. So a lot of logic which is pretty hard to understand. I mean, if you're not that familiar with the logic of that package, what it does, it hides the logic of preferred language under the hood in that service. And this is a perfect example of kind of a separate class that takes over all the logic and the user of that service, which is actually a developer, can just call that service, construct that class with parameters they want, so these ones, and then just call the methods of that service without really knowing what's inside. So if we take a look at the main file of that package, it calls that preferred language with one parameter of get locale. Then in another method, it gets another parameter of lang country. And also somewhere down below, there was another one. So another preferred language. And then this consumer of that service doesn't really know what's inside how that preferred language is defined. They just know that they can call lang country or locale here as a property. And imagine a scenario that you work on a new project or a new feature of existing Laravel project and you need to consume such a service where you don't know the logic. It was created by another developer who is not with you anymore on your team, for example, or external developer, and there's no documentation. So what are possible parameters for all those constructors? So as such service creator, for the future developers, which include yourself in the future, you should provide some kind of documentation. And actually what I found in this package and what I wanted to emphasize is one of the best ways to document the cases of that service usage is actually automated tests for different cases of such service. So you don't need to write specific docs or a lot of comments if you have something like this. So folder tests, feature, then services, and preferred language test. And in here, it's actually readable with almost English language. What are the different cases of parameters to that service? So we're dealing with the global parameters of such locales languages. And this is actually quite a complicated logic if you dive deeper. There's not only country, but country and locale. Within one country, there may be different locales and regions. So English language is not necessarily one English language, as you can see. So we define those and then we call that service. We create the instances of that preferred language with different parameters like this one string. So here you have an example of a documentation in the form of test. This shows an example that you need to provide a string separated by comma and semicolon and then this would be the expected result. Another test prioritizes specific values with another case and then you expect this result. And then also different cases for exact match for example, fallbacks, lowercase, the test names are actually also important. Default allowed languages are tested two characters versus four characters locales, and more methods, including the exception if something goes wrong. So I wanted to show you this as an example of how to structure your services or separate classes if they work like kind of a black box where you want to hide the implementation inside. Different cases of parameters and expected returns could be documented as such a test. And this will massively help future developers who would work with that code. And if you don't have enough knowledge how to write such tests, I have a few courses around that. So there's testing for beginners, which includes actually a little bit of PEST, which is the tool that Steph used in this package. And also there's a separate course on advanced testing. It was here somewhere. Yep, that's the one with faking, mocking, testing external APIs and some advanced stuff. So I will link both of those in the description below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.